Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to be doing something that's kind of unique as far as something I've never done before. And I'm trying to make this into like a mini series. So let me know down in the comments below if you find this video informative or helpful in any way, shape or form, um, because that's going to allow me to, you know, do more videos like this in the future, because I think it's going to be kind of interesting to take a look at products out there that might have flown underneath the radar that maybe you don't know about or that I have seen and for whatever reason I can't get my hand on. So future editing squid here, when I went to go ahead and render this video and upload it to YouTube, I went and grabbed all the links I needed or wherever to put in description. And I was gonna put the find find links or wherever to their page or wherever so you can wish list these products. But apparently they went ahead and released two of them. And that is the capture card as well as their stream deck controller, stream controller, whatever you wanna call it. Their version of the stream deck controller is coming in at $92.93. The stream decks from Elgato, wherever the fi the 15 button one, I think I see 13 later on in the video, but the 15 button one, I have the very original one with the one that you can't detach the cable. That's looking like this fine, fine one It's just the fine, fine has RGB on it. But that one from Elgato, the very Mark one or wherever you want to call it is $112 or something like that on Amazon right now. The detachable one, I think the Mark two, wherever it's called, I think it's coming in at $130. But there are other third party stream decks out there that are doing the same thing Fine Fine is doing, and that's using the skeleton of the software. Cause I've seen a picture of the software in the background of the stream deck, uh, as far as like on Amazon. And it looks like the Elgato software, just Elgato stuff removed. You know what I'm saying? It looks like the skeleton of the API or something like that. And it looks like other companies are doing that as well, but their stream decks are coming in at like $89 or, you know, even lower in price but again i can't talk to their stability of the software i can't talk to you know the i would say how the build quality is of the device you know the reliability of it anything like that because i don't know you know what i'm saying and i even seen one from ulanzi which is like a camera accessories company apparently they have their own version and it's a little bit different so I don't know, pick your poison between them or wherever, but I'll have the affiliate links down in the description for whatever reason you want, fine, fine products. My thing about this is I'll talk about it later on the video. Is this software going to be the same as Elgato, just Elgato stuff removed as far as like logos and stuff? Are you gonna still have the same amount of integration that you have with other programs that work with the Elgato Stream Deck? Are you going to be able to control stuff like Elgato just released, like uh, I say, uh, update or wherever to be able to manipulate some things in Photoshop? They have the capability of doing that with some other programs as well. And some other, uh, I would say, companies with software have integrations with Elgato Stream Deck. Are you going to be able to have those same types of integrations with those same companies with another company's you know device just because it has the same you know skeleton of their software are you still going to be able to have those photoshop integrations are you still going to have you know whatever editing program or whatever you use a stream deck for are you still going to be able to do the same thing or wherever you know what i'm saying work in tandem are you going to have to have this software open up and the stream deck software open up at the same time if you know you're using you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of questions. And hopefully, like I said, I can get my hands on it. I did reach out to my representative to see if I can get my hands on this to, you know, fact check that stuff and any questions that y'all possibly have. So, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to see that in a future video. But they live in another continent. So their times as far as like their daytime is like 12 o'clock in the morning for me. So I'll have to wait and see if they allow me to, you know, review these products. But I would say the capture card, if you guys are wondering about that, it's it looks like it's a 1080p 60 maybe capture and maybe a 4K pass through or something like that. I'm not entirely sure of the description or wherever of the actual device because it says a capture card of 1080p 60 frames per second for gaming and live streaming but it says 4k hdmi capture card so i'm guessing that's 4k input or pass through whatever you want to call it but then if you actually want to record it might be 1080p 60. i'm guessing that's how it's set up um again i don't have my hands on it so i don't know but it's about 56 dollars 46 i think that's actually pretty decent you know what i'm saying for 1080p 60 frames per second capture um, especially being an external capture card, 
I think that might be a competitive price. I don't know. I haven't really used a actual capture card like this in a long time because I don't play console games anymore. And all the capture cards that I use are either internally in my computer or USB to, uh, to HDMI capture cards going to my computer. So I, I don't know. That might be something you want to look into. I think that's a me personally. I think it's a good price. I don't know. Um, but like I said, that Stream Deck controller, that's my main gripe right now as far as it being that high. Again, around 80 bucks would probably have been the sweet spot and it would have been more compelling uh, as far as price difference between going for with the Elgato product going going with this one and then, like I said it does call into question the software integration and the capabilities of it and like I said when I get my hands on it we'll do thorough testing and with all that being said there is a wireless headset that I talk about later in the video that is available on Amazon but it's not available for um, sale it's not in stock yet but you can wish list it so you can go ahead and find that link down below again they're all affiliate links to everything and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video next up we have something from a company called pixel pixio i think that's how you say it or whatever i might be wrong um this company i have heard about before because i was looking up for monitors to uh switch out my 24 inch monitor that i'm using right now from asus um i wanted a bigger monitor a 27 inch and i went with the asus one that's 1080p uh 280 hertz monitor but i found this one because i've been on this wave now i don't know if you if you guys get this but when you get like down this rabbit hole of really interesting youtube content and the ones I have been watching is like these cozy office like vibes, like all white setups, like clean kind of like sterile, like office setups. And people are just like gaming vlog, you know what I'm saying? Where they have a camera behind them. They're just playing some games. They're just chilling, relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Just have some lo-fi music, not even really talking in the video. It's just like text on the screen and stuff. I just been, oh boy, I've been down the rabbit hole, man. Um, <laughs> but in my spare time when I can. But the thing about this uh, company is when I saw this monitor, this 27 inch 1440p 180 hertz monitor, and it's coming in at base price is usually around $300, but it's coming in at uh, $230 right now on Amazon. And I know it's not going to be something crazy or whatever. It's not going to blow your mind. You know what I'm saying? There's probably better monitors out there and accuracy and all this stuff. And even if the company sent it out to me for review, because I am going to reach out and see if they will let me, um, I'm not going to have like the actual scientific like mathematical device that goes on the front of the monitor to test stuff and like i'm just gonna have to visually look at it and everything um in comparison to what i have for 230 that might be an interesting like movement over you know what i'm saying and uh, another thing that makes it interesting to me is the fact of and what really caught my eye is the fact that they have four different colorways of the monitor and the monitor actually matches the monitor stand and on top of that, they have monitor arms to match the colors. So you can get a black monitor, you can get a baby blue monitor, you can get a pink monitor or an all white monitor, all the trims, the bezels, all that stuff or wherever, except for like the little black, you know, outline of the screen or wherever on the front. But all of them are the matching color, like the whole monitor. It still follows that aesthetically a pleasing, like if I'm building a theme, these monitors are going to fit there. And I'm glad because, like I said, they even have the, mo the the monitor arms to match the monitors. Like, this is for those aesthetically people who want their setup to look good. And I don't know in the future if they're going to release more colorways, but I think for what you're getting here, for the possible the price, they have a 24-inch version. Um, those are coming in around 150. Um, those are 1080p, 200 hertz. And like I said, 150, bro? I'm pretty sure I paid like 200 and something for mine. I don't know. I have to go look at the price or whatever. I might be wrong, but for my um, 27 inch, uh, you know, 1080p, 280 hertz monitor, I paid way more than that. Yeah, these monitors are pretty interesting. Even if they were roughly around the same price that I paid for these monitors, the Asus ones, I just think the fact that you have the matching colors uh for your setup as well as having a monitor arm for your setup to match the only thing about it though i will say they have a different series of monitor arms that are dual that are white but if you're looking for a dual monitor arm for like the pink the blue you know what i'm saying you're not going to get that here because they only it only has you know a monitor arm like a single monitor arm instead of having a dual monitor arm for those colors um 
so that's maybe something they could do in the future but from what i understand this is somewhat of a new release from them so maybe they'll do that in the future they also have like a webcam a 1440p webcam that's coming in uh around 130 dollars, which is kind of interesting another thing is going to be from gobi their uh neon light rope and it's going to be for their wall lining so the corners of your wall or wherever your room is going to have a diffused look and stuff and it's not going to be like these little <laughs> these little beads or whatever from the rgb in the ceiling and stuff and this came out just recently and it's a couple years late and i'm not gonna take this stuff down because i have it not only in my living room but my bedroom and in here so you are gonna see the individual leds and i do really like them uh, but i'm not going over with diffusion layer and i'm not taking these down just to put those up and stuff like that but they're fairly cheap right now they're on sale for 79 bucks um it's about a hundred dollars for the 16 foot one or wherever um but again it's going to be for your um, wall lining i'm not sure if it comes with like two in a box or it's just like one six foot one or something like that or 16 foot one um they do have a nine foot one that is around uh 70 but it's on sale for 60 right now i'm hoping that it's two in a box but i imagine it's probably just one unfortunately but like i said you just put them in the corners of your room or wherever and you're going to have diffuse lighting in the corner so if you don't want to put a floor lamp down or something like that or you want something like this but you want it to be diffused and not see the individual leds or wherever i think this is a really good really good uh option and obviously govi is a really good company another thing is is that they're coming out with a curtain light too so this is the curtain lights from go to uh govi i never had a problem with issue with them i've been thinking about getting another one for the other side of the room to kind of like do a symmetry thing but then i saw this and it's coming out on september the 20th and it's for the wild robot i think it's from dreamworks as a movie that's coming out um in celebration of it or wherever govi's been doing a lot of collaborations like that i'm not sure what is on offer i'm not sure if it's just with these curtain light twos that you're getting you're going to get exclusive animations and stuff like that because it's you know in tandem with the movie that's what they've been kind of doing lately as far as like the features and what they've been offering when they release a product in tandem with a movie but i'm like is what's the difference between the first one and the second one is the the beads on the curtain light brighter are we not gonna are they gonna have like certain features and themes or whatever within the app that the first one can't get and i'm not talking about just because they're collaborating with the movie like what are the differences here you know what i'm saying for the version one to the version two um i'm not sure obviously we'll have to wait for it to be released but a lot of people have been asking me about this and i would say if you are going to possibly get it i would say hold off to see what september 20th uh holds or whatever for the curtain light next up is something very very it, I would say interesting this video is not sponsored by fine fine but they are a sponsor of the channel but they didn't ask me to cover any of these things but i was looking around products or wherever and i wanted to see you know certain prices for certain things for fine fine or wherever and i went on the actual website and i found something interesting if you go to the website and you hover over the little tabs at the top through like the microphone headset all that stuff they have new products coming out and you will see a calendar like icon emoji and it will say upcoming and they don't have a product displayed and you can actually click on it you can get a little bit of information but obviously you can't order it or anything like that you don't get a price on things or anything like that but doing that i found out that fine fine is coming out with the apple gain d6 control pad and essentially is the stream deck you know what i'm saying we've been seeing a lot of non elgato companies coming out with their own like literal knockoff of the stream deck um this one doesn't look like it has a detachable usb cord or cable it's giving me vibes of the very first iteration of the 13 button stream deck there looks like there's actually going to be software because if you look at the back of one of the pictures uh in the background it looks like it has an accompanying software my only thing about this is what are we going to be able to control you know what i'm saying um obviously with some elgato stuff with their stream deck they have exclusive partnerships with certain I would say applications or companies or whatever so what are we going to really be able to access on this is the software going to be stable enough um, i've seen other stream deck knockoffs before where they have the same exact marketplace as elgato it's just you don't see any elgato logos or any mention of elgato anywhere but you still get access to pretty much everything that elgato stream decks can control within the software so i'm wondering if fine fine is able to do the same thing i'm hoping that it's just not an obs controller you know what i'm saying or uh 
it allows you to do stuff like control different apps. I do see something in the back that says like zoom. So I'm imagining if you can do could like control like stuff in the zoom calls and stuff. I don't know. I don't do, I don't do zoom calls and everything. Um, I'm hoping that you can control stuff like discord, all that stuff. I'm seeing like something like favorite web at the top. So I'm guessing you can launch your favorite website or something like that. Like I'm seeing league of legends, you know what I'm saying? Icons and stuff like I'm really hoping that this is not just, you know, very limited on what you can control because the League of Legends thing or whatever looks like it's just a quick macro or whatever to do an ability because I'm seeing Q, W, E, R, you know, stuff like that. So again, I'm hoping that it is kind of more fleshed out, but I'm also hoping that this is not above 60 bucks. I'm hoping it's between 50 and 60. Um, just because you got the, the Elgato Neo line out there again with that little stream deck. Um, I think it has less buttons than this one, but you can, I think with that one, you can get access to the Wavelink software. I might be wrong on that, but it has like the touch bar. It has at least the info thing of like, at least seeing like the, the date, you know what I'm saying? Or time or something like that. Like this one might be a little bit late to the game, but again, it just depends on the price and what you can actually control. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, if they could get this thing between honestly, realistically, let's be let's be honest, come in, come in close for a second. If we can get this thing around 40, 40 bucks, 40 between 40 and 60. I could see justify. And then, like I said, if there's enough here to be able to control and I'm not talking about just launching Google Chrome, you know what I'm saying? Or controlling OBS, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to have to have a lot of things I can control similar to the stream deck. And like I said, 40 to 60 bucks might be, might be worth it. Maybe. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. Um, next up we, from five Fine, we have the Ample Game, a Ample Game V3 capture card. Now this is a USB type C 3.0 with HDMI 2.1 and you can record up to 4K 30. And it's for a two PC setup or gaming consoles and stuff like that. And obviously you can use it for OBS and everything. I'm very interested in this one. I'm wondering what the latency is as far as, you know, since we're doing an external capture card, I'm also wondering, is there going to be accompanying software with this? Because we're already kind of seeing that with the whole stream deck. And I'm also really wondering what the price of this is going to be. I would imagine around this is this is high hopes again i'm in my own world because people keep telling me the prices that i'd be talking about is just unrealistic for companies but i would realistically like to see this no more than 150 bucks realistically i'm again i could be completely wrong maybe it needs to cost more but if it could be no more than 150 bucks i don't know guys you know what i'm saying they don't tell me about stuff until the product is actually out and you can order it and then they tell me you know what I'm saying? I'm finding this by just doing my own research, just happen to look at the website. So I'm hoping, like I said, 150, between 100 and 150. The another thing is going to be the Fine Fine X3. There are wireless headsets from Fine Fine finally. Um, I really like the H9s uh, that I did a review on about like a year ago or so. Uh, the only problem is, is that again, they weren't wireless, um, but the sound quality, the comfortability, everything like that, even the microphone surprised me or whatever, how good it sounded um, coming from a headset microphone. Um, and in my personal opinion, that's one of the products that kind of made me reach out to Fine Fine and was like, hey, can we do kind of a sponsorship thing? But with these, I'm, I will go ahead and say, just being completely honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that it does not look like the Fine Fine H9s. I wanted a wireless headset that literally was just a carbon copy of the H9s. I know I'm probably one of the few people out here because this is more of a public, I'm going out or whatever, it's not supposed to look gamery, you know, stuff like that. But I was really hoping maybe, you know, this is the first iteration of a wireless headset. Maybe we are gonna get something that's reminiscent to the H9s, maybe the H10s or something like that. Um, that would be wireless that would have like a wireless dongle and stuff like that it can hook up to your computer but you could also do bluetooth and stuff like that because this one it looks like you're going to have the 3.5 millimeter audio cable you're going to have the usb a to usb type c you're going to have the wireless headset as far as being able to use bluetooth um, and you're going to have you know a detachable microphone and stuff it looks 
fairly interesting um, and it supposedly has uh, noise cancellation, active noise cancellation. Um, so again, it looks interesting. Obviously, if your computer can do Bluetooth, you could probably hook it up to that uh, and use it just that way or whatever. Um, I think it looks nice. It, it's more of that modern look or whatever of headsets is rem really reminiscent. I think it's to Sony headsets or something like that or is this Sony? I, I don't know there's you you probably seen headsets that look like this um but in my personal opinion i was really hoping that when they made one it would be really close because like i said aesthetically that white version of the h9s i liked everything about it i just wanted it to be wireless and a little bit disappointment you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that this thing won't be good i'm just saying <sighs> maybe one day man fine fine please um another thing is that uh this is coming in already confirmed somewhat on uh fine finds uh, twitter page and that's what kind of made me look at the website and was like wait a minute let me see something here um because they recently tweeted out that there's a black version and a beige version of this uh, i'm not sure why they went with beige maybe because white would get too dirty because again this is meant more so for traveling and just everyday use you know where you would use a headset like this like it's not really meant to be like for gaming gaming um but obviously like i said if your pc has bluetooth you could use it for that i would be very very surprised in my personal opinion if this is a bad product just based off of me using their h9s you know what i'm saying i would be very very surprised like audio wise if this was bad i would imagine this is probably if i'm being realistic and how you know budget friendly fine fine is i would say this is like 60 70 bucks um i don't see it needing to be even more i would be surprised if it's less than that people probably could say it could be lower but um lastly is a microphone coming up from a fine fine it is the profile 3 it's very very reminiscent to the apple tank tank 3 um as far as the overall look of it when i'm looking at it and one of the pictures um it's just that this one's more square and the apple tank tank 3 is a dynamic microphone and it's also round um, or circular or cylinder whatever you want to call it but the profile three from them is only usb it has a low cut filter switch thing where around the bottom also just a flat eq to wherever just to keep it flat so you can you know record or wherever like that it's 24 bit it's just it allows you to direct a monitor and like i said it's just a usb i was really hoping when i saw this that it would be uh xlr as well because it's actually a condenser microphone and i think it looked cool enough or wherever and because they have other i would say audio mixers available i don't know why they wouldn't include the xlr port there might be something engineering behind it and all that stuff but for me personally i don't understand why you wouldn't make it capable of being an xlr like i have a xlr you know what i'm saying condenser microphone yes for streaming and stuff and if you were gearing this towards more so streaming um then it's probably better to go with dynamic microphones because you know if you're offering cheap offerings then people probably should get dynamic microphones if they're streaming and all that stuff because they want to cut down on the noise around their room and stuff like that because they're probably not in a sound treated room or whatever but i still would have liked to see this in xlr in my personal opinion but something like this i wouldn't use for streaming i might do it for this type of video maybe for like they say podcasting on the listing uh or just recording a voice over or something like that where i wanted to get all my tones of my voice or something and i was able to control like background noise like fan noise all that stuff not use this in a actual gaming like twitch streaming like environment i want to use it and the reason why i wanted the xlr cable jack or whatever because xlr signal at least to my knowledge and understanding i might be wrong is always a better cleaner signal and it allows you to get better audio quality from the source i'm not sure what this would cost if we're going to be honest it probably because the ample tank tank 3 because they're saying that the ample tank tank 3 is more sort of for uh voiceovers and podcast and that one is at least on their website is 80 bucks i imagine 70 80 bucks as well it's just it's only usb and i don't know why you know what i'm saying at this point it's just speculation but let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments down below i'm gonna leave it up to you guys with that being said if you found this video informative or informational in any way shape or form and you want to see more videos like this then let me know like i said down in the comments down below if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos from me in the future then you already know what to do you can hit that subscribe button if you want to take it a little bit further 
and you want to join the memberships, I'd be greatly appreciated if you do that. But if anything, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.